so bad, but I don't want to spoil the video, so. And if you can hear the birds chirping in the background, it's like 5.30 in the morning, and I'm up recording this video because that is the only time that I get peace and quiet. <laughs> Today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be based on Izzy or Izzy, Izzy Sakawa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, so forgive me if I butcher his name throughout this video. So, Izzy, I'm just calling him Izzy, Iza, Izzy, Izzy. So, Izzy was a disgusting human being, um, one of the most disgusting human beings to ever walk this earth. Honestly, I just really cannot wrap my mind around how evil people really can be and how people are. It just blows my freaking mind that people can literally kill someone and just go on about their life as if, as if nothing happened. Like, that is so disturbing to say the least. Like, for example, like Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, he would literally kill and eat some body parts and just go to work like it's like or go out like it's nothing like he just you know oh i just killed a book or whatever like it just is so disturbing to me um so i'm not gonna ramble too much sit back relax and enjoy some crime time warning this content is for educational purposes only some viewers might find this disturbing. Parental discretion is advised. Ise Sakawa was born on April 26, 1949 in Kobe, Japan. He was born premature. It was so tiny he could fit in his father's hand. While in the hospital, Ise developed enteritis which is a small inflammation of the small intestine. Eventually, Issei made a full recovery. The doctors injected multiple doses of potassium and calcium and saline. Issei, who was an introvert, became heavily interested in creative writing. Issei's parents were fairly wealthy. His father, Akita, worked as the president of Garita Water Industries, which is a Japanese manufacturer that provides water treatment chemicals and facilities and process treatment chemicals. Issei attended Waco University and graduated with a master's degree in English literature at Kwansi Gikun University. Issei was aware of his cannibalistic desires in the first grade after seeing a male's thigh area. When Issei was interviewed in 2011 with Vice, which was a disturbing interview by the way, he admitted that as a child he would participate in bestiality with his dog, which means having sexual activities between humans and animals and he began having a cannibalistic desire for women. He also talked about in the interview how he wasn't human. He was from another planet. I will link that interview down below if you're interested. And it is in Japanese, but the subtitles are in English. Once again, it is very disturbing. So don't say I didn't warn you. Issei attended Waco University in Tokyo at 24 years old. While there, he followed a tall German woman home. Later on that night, he broke into her apartment while she was asleep. Issei had every intention of killing her, cutting off a piece of her buttocks to take with him, but she awoke, which scared him away. He was caught by police and charged with attempted inappropriately touching 
approaching her without consent. He did not tell authorities what his true intentions were. The charges were dropped when his father paid a settlement amount to the victim. Ise moved to France in 1977 at 27 years old so he could pursue a PhD in literature at Sorbonne in Paris. But unfortunately, he pursued other things. Four years after moving to Paris, he invited his classmate Rene Hartivelt over for dinner. Rene was under the assumption that her and Ise were going to translate poetry for a school assignment, but Ise had other plans. Once Rene arrived, they began reading poetry together at a desk. Rene's back was turned to him, so this would be the perfect opportunity to go through with his plan. He shot her in the back of the neck with a rifle. After doing so, he fainted due to being in so much shock about him actually killing his first victim. He awoke, realizing that he had to go through with his plan. Ise had intercourse with her corpse. He attempted to bite into her skin, but his teeth weren't sharp enough. He left his apartment to purchase a butcher knife. He ate most of the corpse over a period of three days. He ate her breast and face. He would cook it or eat it raw and save the rest in his refrigerator. Each time he would consume the corpse, he would take pictures. The main reason Ise killed Renee is because she was tall and beautiful. He lacked those characteristics in himself. He described himself as being weak, ugly, and a tiny man. He was a four foot nine. Ise ate some of her corpse because he wanted to, quote, absorb her energy. Ise put the rest of the corpse in a suitcase, attempting to discard them in a lake, but was caught by French police four days after the murder. So, remember when I told you all how Ise's parents were wealthy? So yeah, once again, his dad came to his rescue. His wealthy father provided Ise a lawyer for his defense. He was jailed for two years to await his trial. He was found legally insane and unfit to stand trial by the French judge. The judge, John Louis, ordered him to go to a mental institution. The French authorities decided to have Ise extradited back to Japan. Once he arrived in Japan, he was sent to serve his time at Matsuzawa Hospital. He was examined and was found to be sane but evil. Japanese authorities found out it was illegal to hold him due to not receiving the proper paperwork from the French authorities. On August 12th, 1986, Issei checked himself out of the mental institute and has been a free man ever since. As you can imagine, his freedom was disapproved of. Between 1986 and 1997, Issei was asked several times to be a guest speaker and commentator. In 1992, Issei was featured in an exploitation film. He played as a sad sexual voyeur. In 1997, Issei has written books on the crime he committed. He has also written restaurant reviews for a Japanese spa magazine. Throughout the years, Ise was not able to find any publishers for his books, and he struggled with finding a job due to his representation being tarnished. Ise was almost accepted into a French language school, but was quickly rejected due to employees protesting. In 2005, Issei's parents died and was permitted to not attend their funeral. In order to live on his own, he was on welfare. In his vice 
this magazine interview, he stated that making a living and being a well-known murderer and cannibalist was a horrible punishment. In 2013, he had a cerebral infarction, which is an area of neurotic tissues in the brain. He was hospitalized and it permanently damaged his nervous system. He is now 72 years old and lives alone. He needs 24-7 assistance, which is provided from his younger brother and caregivers. What I'm going to read to you is a quote from Issei Sagawa. He stated, quote, What I truly wished was to eat her living flesh. To this day, I still think if only she had let me taste her just a little bit. I want to eat her. If I do, she will be mine forever. End quote. Thank you all for watching this horrifying video. If you enjoyed this type of content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas that you would like for me to discuss on a Freaky Friday, please leave some ideas down below. Um, also, I'm going to, I probably said this before, but I'm going to link his interview that he did with the Vice Magazine down in the description box below. So, unfortunately, I wish I could, but I can't.